Gina Raimondo wants the State Board of Elections to replace its executive director, and she's nominating two new board members to make that happen. The move comes after Robert Kando was placed on unpaid suspension twice. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us tonight with more. Well, to be clear, this Board of Elections, they're incredibly important because they're the ones that certify every election and make sure that your vote counts. So these two appointees really do matter, but the governor has made clear beyond that responsibility. She also hopes they soon make a decision on their executive director. It's no secret the Rhode Island Board of Elections has been in the headlines a lot this year. You know, every time the Board of Elections is in the news, it's not about elections, it's about mismanagement. And so we need to fix that. Governor Gina Raimondo told me the first step to doing that is appointing two members to the board to fill the vacancies. Former East Providence Mayor Isidore Ramos and former Bristol Town Administrator Diane Medeiros. Their first job, restore the public's faith in the board. And the governor wants the director, Bob Cando, to be fired. They to trust the system. Have you told them that you would like for Bob Pando to be fired by the board? Yes, yes. I've been very clear that that would be my view. Kando just returned to work Monday. He was suspended at the start of the year in order to take mandatory management classes. He never signed up and was given a second unpaid suspension because of it. That second suspension was during last month's presidential primary, meaning the Board of Elections was without a director during a pivotal election. It really was, in my mind, kind of a final straw that enough is enough and we really need action. The governor said Everything ran fine in the primary without Kando, but wants new leadership for the far more important general election in November. The governor's appointees still need to be confirmed by the state Senate. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.